Well, hey guys, uh, I'd like to thank Coach Benstra and, uh, for this opportunity. Uh, he and I were talking, and, and you know, guys, this is going to be just some ball talk this morning, uh, or whatever time you're watching this. This is morning for me. Um, uh, some of you may know, I just recently took a job um, at a different high school here in Texas. My name is Adam Harvey, and I'll be the new defensive coordinator at Hutto. Um, and so excited about the move. Uh, but it's been fast and furious, to say the least, over the last few weeks, uh, not only with the battle of, of figuring out the new normal uh, for now anyway until we, this virus passes over, uh, but also just any time you're making that adjustment and, and making that move, uh, as, as many of you know, is an interesting bit. So um, I, I don't have a cute presentation. Uh, I don't have anything that's going to wow you um, this morning, but... <laughs> I do want to just kind of talk ball. Um, Coach Bancher asked me uh, to kind of cover some of our cover three stuff. And so uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so bear with me as, as we kind of go through this. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Um, also, I got to give you the disclaimer that I am working off of a brand new Chrome, or no, it's not even brand new, but it's a Chromebook, which is new to me. So, um, Want to make sure that I'm good. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, what I did is I, I went through and filtered out out of two games, filtered out um, some different formations that we possibly would be running cover three to and most likely are. We might be in some quarter quarter halves to some of this empty stuff. Um, let me see why this is. OK, I apologize. That's it's just part of the what our camera people were doing here. All right. So, so here we're going to start out an empty. This is, um, this is a, a, an opportunity for us to run some cover three. So what you'll see right here, we're actually going to drop cover three. We got a cloud concept to trips. And again, I apologize. You can't see the outside guy, but that's our camera work. Um, so we're going to basically trap this down here and play a cloud concept. Near side safety is going to drop to this third. We got middle of the field here. And then that corner right there is going to drop to this third here where we're going to play three under three deep and then leave him under as well. So it's actually going to be four under both post snap. Um, as you can see, he's going to jump inside on the trap concept. We've got, you know, if they were going to push anything vertical, now this is a quick hitch here or a walk, but if they were to push vertical, we've got that covered. Here comes our alley fitter. Gets a little, you know, he gets a few yards, but we're okay with that. On second and six, you know, nine yards, often says first down, well, at least, they come out and empty and we feel like we can get hurt. We've got something, you know, to take care of corner corner on the trap concept here. You know, he does enough. We really like for him to get skinny early. And if, if he can and try to try to get hands on that guy, um, if you send him other presentations, you know, we're a heavy press team, um, but I'm okay with him dipping like that. Now, if we were playing our normal cloud and you will see some normal cloud in this presentation, um, he's going to work outside and then we can fit inside out with him. So this was just a little bit of a change that we felt like maybe we can get to number three quickly and, and disrupt that walk. Um, they end up getting us a little bit better on that play, get a nine yard game. Um, <clears throat> all right, moving forward again, here's another empty look. Now trips to the field up top. Um, we're probably going to go quarter, quarter halves here. Yeah, this is more of a quarter, quarter half look. All right, but you can kind of see we're working kind of a buzz look too with our, our backer now, and he doesn't work wide enough. He's, he's coming downhill and then doesn't make the tackle, right? And they take it down the sideline and score on this play. That dude's a stud. All right, not very good job by that safety. But again, that's not really what you're looking for, so let's move on. Um, we will run a version of cover three even on, on the goal line. So here we've got a what we call a combo coverage, and you can see it's kind of a – a trace set, right? So we got tied in here. Um, we're going to play first thing out of the mess with the backside. This guy's going to drop and, and it's almost a mod principle here. He can send him inside. We'll just zone it off. And then he's going to drop there. We're picking up there. All right. And then first thing up, first thing out with this guy. So it looks more like a quarters concept, but what it ends up being is he's there. This thing's first thing is up. Okay. He's got this, this third over here, unless this guy is zoned off here, and then he would poach. If you, so you can kind of see that, right? 
Um, so a little bit different look there, even on the goal line, um, where it ends up being a mod principle and man, all right, but but it is a cover three concept. <clears throat> uh, just talked about that one again. I just pulled out some clips here, guys. So, all right, here we are in a three down, and th this is our sky three look. So you can see the safety to the field. He's scrolling down right now. We got a safety to the boundary that's going to play this third down here. We're zoning off with the corner, so the corner is just kind of dropping hook to curl. And then we're, we're screaming down with that field safety. Corner ends up staying at home, making the play with the scramble out the back door. So again, the way this will look, I'm going to go back to pre-snap here a second. So we're just going to bail with the corner to the field. He's going to take deep third, and his landmark is top of the numbers. Field safety is going to scroll down. Backer can stay inside now, and then he's going to work force flat. This safety is actually a poach here. This safety, or excuse me, this corner is playing the third there. So you can kind of see what we got there. And we can do that a couple of different ways. The way this plays out, that safety is just going to stay at home. But we can play that where this guy can even blitz from the corner, right? Safety roll there, and then he poach from the backside with this corner playing deep third. So it's just a number of variations that you can do if you want to scroll that weak, play your cover nine concept if you're a rip Liz team. You want to match it. That's another way to do that. Um, just some different things that you can do to three, you know, three by one, even condensed set, as you see here with the short, short uh, split. There we go again. Same look. We're going more of a three high look here. And they get us with the hard count. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so here's our buzz concept right here. So you can see the getting down in a three down. You see this backer buzzing out to the flat now. Okay, so in a perfect world, and we're going four over three here and boxing this, but this guy would, would work back to poach. Okay, you got kind of a solo look with mod principles. So we'll zone it off if he goes underneath. If he pushes vertical, then he's got him deep third. Now he's going to play there. And then we can work this cloud concept. We can work back inside here. And so it's still three deep and four under, right, with a buzz. And these guys are just basically exchanging responsibilities. So he would jump down in here to hook to curl. He's going to work force flat. We call that buzz. I'm going to let it roll here. You guys can kind of see it. A lot of uh, a lot of completions here, guys. This is a good football team we're playing in Lake Travis. Uh, this was a this was a shootout, unfortunately. But like I told you, um, not about cute presentations. I'm gonna show you what works and what doesn't. And this night was not a good night for the Steel Knights, um, mostly because this is the best offense I've ever seen in high school football. But hey, I mean, look at that throw, unbelievable. <clears throat> We've got it covered, and he just makes a heck of a throw. You can see we're all around it. But you can kind of see here's the deep third. That that corner really should be working inside here. If we work at that buzz, like I was saying, that linebacker should take him. Corner should be on this guy, and corner plays outside because of the comeback and the sprint out. Um, but you can kind of see how that looks in our cover three concept. see what's going on here yeah here's another one so we removed we removed our backer here so our backer to the boundary right now is actually pressed on one that's our nickel okay so this is actually another backer that would normally play inside we just removed him you got deep thirds there there and then a safety over here on this hash play deep thirds we're in double cloud here so cloud in this cloud that that would be more like a buzz because of the alignment with your backer but you can get the idea and it's almost a three high look. It's pretty good coverage there. That, that, that's what we're looking for in our three high stuff right there in a double cloud, but it's still covered three because you've got two hard force players on the edge, right? Here it would just happen to be your, your nickel and then to the field at your field corner. Actually get a turnover there on one of the bright spots of the night. 
Nice play. Good job. Good coverage. Again, a three by one empty look, or excuse me, three by two empty look, running that that draw. So you can see where, where we're dropping to our thirds right now. So we're we're just playing cloud to the field, and he's playing off right now just to make sure that nothing pushes vertical. Here we're playing off thirds. Okay, we're funneling back to our poacher right there. This guy's gonna play over the top deep third. So it's just a cloud look there. Not bad. It's a pretty good run fit as well. So trips down here to the field. Yeah, we're playing our our three deep look here. See our poachers just playing underneath a little bit more right here. And then we, we try to make a play on that one. That's a good job. We're playing under and over with our three high look now. So again, this is double cloud. You can kind of see that this is our as our backer, our, our corner is backed up. This is now our poacher. And then we're just playing. So we're playing third here, middle of the field, third there, right? And then this guy is playing squat. This guy's playing squat over here on this side. And then that backer should really work back. He's a little wide. He should work back here, play under hole here, and he should stay on that hash to work there. So again, you got you know, your, your look here really is, is three deep, five under, and we're only blitzing three or rushing three. We're not even going to blitz here. So three deep, five under right there, double cloud. It's a good job staying on top of things. Should have picked it. <clears throat> All right. We'll do it even in the bunch. So here is our, uh, here is that that cloud look, I think, without a trap, because we won't trap a bunch for obvious reasons. I'd like to get a little bit more hands on right there with 11 to the field. And so he kind of bells out early. And if you've heard my other talks, that's that's the one thing I don't want right there. I want him to stay square and mash that point and then work to the outside in our cloud look. Because I've got inside fitters coming from the linebacker position. He's going to fit the crease. Safety's going to be screaming in the alley. And now I can just play outside with this guy and make sure that we're good and sound on the perimeter. Again, they run that that same look where the uh, quarterback is going to draw it. Okay, but you can kind of see what we're looking for there. And then I think we're probably playing solo up top here. Yeah, a little inch back technique, just playing solo up there. So in our solo concept, you might ask, especially to the boundary right here, we're wanting to peel, okay? So depending on where these two guys are going, if we're shooting him inside, then the backer will take back out. If he's going to peel and the backer inserts, now we're just going to peel dog, right? Or, or excuse me, if he's going to contain, now we're going to peel dog. So that's a number of things that you can do on that backside. If you want to play solo to the solo receiver, just mess around with that on your cover three concept and you're playing cloud down here to the field. All right, so here's a tray look again. Um, so what we'll do a lot of times is we'll run a sky concept or a buzz. Right now, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. I'll figure it out in just a second once the snap is rolling. So if we buzz it, this guy's going to go out force flat. We're going to drop deep third. Now we're just going to play kind of almost look like a rat. All right, so this safety is going to drop to the middle of the field. He's going to play deep third, and then we're, we're working outside here. So we would have two players under with that safety coming down and playing almost a rat look. We'll play low hole here just in case any crossers, particularly from the boundary here because of the split. Uh, but then we'll play high, a high crosser as well. High hole, low hole type deal. Let me see what we do here. Yeah, that tight end's releasing. So that safety's got to work quicker. He's a little slow. He ends up getting there, knocking the ball away, but he's got to work quicker there to play that high hole. If he does, we possibly get a pick. So I kind of mentioned that earlier on that goal line concept where we're play, playing first thing out of the mesh right here in Trey, you know, we, he can be slower. We're almost treating this almost like two by one, but we've got to make sure we keep tabs on the tight end. He does a good job again, ends up breaking the play up, but if he comes down quicker again, if we freeze it right here, back up. So if we play low hole right here, We'd like to get hands on him, but we're okay as long as we play that high hole. He could get there and beat the ball to the junction. 
I mean, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take what we get here. But you can see right now, if he's coming, he, he possibly either forces a sail there and he, and he's all right on top of that ball. Okay. To either pick it or take it to the house or he's right on top of it for a nice PBU. And again, he, he makes a nice hit, but the guy could have caught it and should have caught it. Ball's there. And then we come in and dislodge it at the last second. A little bit behind him maybe, but he could have caught it. You kind of get the idea though. That's another variation of cover three for us. Here we go. Next play three by one. Here's your sky look. So you see the field safety coming down. What we're looking at right now, instead of playing first thing out and a lot of your match concepts, we're true zone eyes right here. So we're, this is a country concept and we're zoning up on the backside. The guy just gets us a really good receiver. <clears throat> A nice little stick. We got to slow down and throttle down as a corner. Uh, we're playing solo up there. Got to do a better job. They get a first down on third and six. Okay, so here, here's another one. We will play cover three uh, to two back some. Um, we probably check out of it here because it's to the boundary. Let me see. Yeah, we're still playing a cloud look. So you can see that corner comes down. Does a nice job initially of shocking, but doesn't shed. Here's what happens when you don't shed. Maybe gets held. You can make that argument. But if we put him in our pocket, it's really hard to hold us. Right? But then again, I want to keep outside leverage and get your help coming. Could have been a holding call now that I watch it again. But, hey, you don't get them all. <clears throat> Here's a tray look again. Yeah, we're just playing a cloud concept here. So you can see the cover three. You got a poacher from the boundary. All right. To the field, he should be heading to the top of the numbers right now because the corner is playing cloud. So the corner's got to come on too. Corner feathers too much and then gets sealed inside. Not a very good job. Got to do a better job with that as the corner. Ali's, Ali Fitter is coming from the field in the safety position, but it, nobody's containing, so they got us. That's just your cloud three concept. Should be running cloud three down here. Let's see what, what we're doing. Oh, this, yeah, this is cloud three again. Poacher from the boundary, right? A little up and out, good coverage right there. Knowing you're in a cover three and then they have to check down. Our defensive end gets, gets out of his way here. He should be peeling. So this is that peel concept we talked about. If you watch him containing, then we're coming inside with the outside backer. So now that tells him he's got to peel with the back. He gets too far upfield and allows for the check down. So we, we had that covered well. We just got to do a better job from the defensive end position. Yeah, again, you get the idea of the cover three concept there. Here's the sky three. All right, so here to the field, you see the safety scrolling down. Well, right now, our teaching points is we want to keep everything, especially these two guys with two and three, we want to keep it inside of us. Backer's a little too wide here. He's got to work inside of three on the snap. And then what we want is push these guys there. And if we we can just zone it off. we got a poacher on the backside. He can play that. This guy's going to come underneath. we got two guys waiting for the crosser. He's dropping deep third. We're, again, we can peel with the back. Right now, they looks like they're going to have max protection, so we're just going to play a particular pass rush there. And then we've got a guy over the top here as well, playing thirds. So we've got poacher, thirds, thirds, force flat, hook to curl, low a hole, hook to curl, and then peel over here on the outside. Not too bad. Good job by that safety reading reading front shoulder. He doesn't have a threat, so two guys down here, two and three, cut it off. Nice little double move. He got us on the double move. Luckily, we get there and force a tough throw and didn't end up catching it. So this is one of the things that we've been hurt on. This is a great, great play here. And uh we we've tried to mess with some different different things to to combat this, but we, we've got to stay better inside leverage here. See the inch back technique again. So he's just stalling and then sticks it and comes on inside. They get us. 
Luckily, we make the tackle before he scores. <clears throat> they were just solo on that backside there. Um, let me go back here. Again, sky three. Good tackle. So you can see our, our poacher is just going to play a little slower, kind of flat foot read it a little bit. This is not the play I thought. What I thought was going to happen is if you look down here to the trip side, this guy will delay and he'll come inside here and then he shoots up that seam right there. And they got us, this team got us on that play a few times. And I think that's what they were trying to do and he ended up tucking it because we had it covered. But that's just your sky three. You've seen it a few times here. Here's another three by one. Again, we're running sky three again. Trying to isolate us up top. Good job finding the football by our poacher. Good job by that corner, squeezing him to the outside. So again, looks like man to man. It's truly, it's truly mod right here. Man on demand, outside release demands us or demands us to man him. And then the safety's there to help out by reading front shoulder. He probably bells a little early because if if we get a look off here and he comes back to the middle, that safety is it's going to put him in a tough position to make a play. All right, but he knew where he was wanting to go and went with his instincts. Good job making the play and getting a PBU. So here's another one. This is a lot of times we'll run we'll run either sky three or cloud three. Right here, we're in that that combo concept. You can see the safety inch back right there and the scuffle technique. What he's doing is he's playing first thing up, but then he can see everything in front of him. You know, he kind of keeps his own eyes, doesn't do a very good job of keeping his feet underneath him. But the corner's coming here. This is what it should look like right here. I like that look right there. So, again, minimal gain. We're okay with that swing pass. And right now we've got a triangle built with these guys. If the safety keeps his feet, we've got a, even a better play. All right? So we're, we're in good shape. He's playing contain. He's now the alley fitter. We want him to fit inside out because of the teeth of the defense. Here they come. And then we got a crease player right there. So he's going to aim near hip. He's aiming head up and he's aiming outside hip. All right. Another sprint out here. Yeah, we're playing, we're playing sky again. So you see the safety come down, keep outside leverage. See the corner dropping deep third. Good job. Good job by the backer. Corner, corner kind of loses his guy, but again, that's a really tough throw for any high school quarterback to make. If he tries to put it on top in the back pile on there, that's that's going to be a tough one. That's a pretty good job there in that, in that coverage on third and 14. Good job. Yeah, we're running quarter, quarter, half here. So I'm going to the next one. All right, a little motion. So what we'll see here is we're running cloud, right? And they end up keeping it out the back door, but we're just going to run cloud to that. Jump ball, nice play. Dude's a stud. Yes, he's a stud. <laughs> yeah, that's just one on one coverage, guys. We're running, we're running cover three down here into the field um, with the combo concept. There's first thing out of the mesh. They're going to their stud. What a catch! He's at Ohio State right now, and he's a dude. Pretty good coverage there. So, again, three by one, you can see the poacher. Poacher just playing it slow. He steps up in the pocket. Poacher breaks on the ball. Good job. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get to this next game here and show about 10 clips. Um, just give you guys some things to chew on, and then y'all can reach out to me afterwards. All right, here we go. So here's another team that, that ran some tray. Here's the tray concept. Now you can see the, the tight end come underneath right now. 
and we've got three deep right right now off the bat because of what the tight end is doing. We're in a little bit of a trail mode with our poacher, but that corner still has that entire third. So you can see this this safety would play this third. We this is our poacher, and that corner is playing that third over there. So it's good good against vertical releases. Okay, it's good against anything with with eye candy because you're you can play like old country three with those three guys and then zone everything off inside underneath. Right. So again, here's Trey. Now they're they're gonna run the football. We're good. Corner's getting getting whipped a little bit. Um, we got to come off a little bit harder with the corner there. So he he's playing like a sky sky technique or a buzz technique, but we don't have anybody in force flat right now. We're feathering it. We got to we got to have a force player right now, and so he's wrong, and, and we've got to we got to make sure we correct that. It's a good job here. So this is your sky look. Okay, good good outside integrity from that corner. And you see the safety screaming down, eludes the block, minimal gain. It's a good job right there. Second and six, they get a, a gain of one. And that's a guy coming from the roof there now. Again, we're going to sky this. They try to get us out the back door. It's a good offensive play, but good, good patience here. You can see the field safety, who's really a poacher. It's kind of flat foot reading everything, right? So that's your weak safety filler. Here he comes. Okay, forces it back inside, and we've got to have a little better pursuit from the inside players. We got two players on the outside, and I'm enough guys coming inside. Three by one. Yeah, should be a cloud look here. There you can see the drop off right there. So he cuts his route. We're dropping deep third up top, right? To the boundary. We should have this covered too. There's our deep play, deep third player right there in the middle of the field. Corner should have that. Rearranges, but that's a tough throw to make. Stack look kind of empty. Uh, we may go quarter, quarter, half here. Let me see. Yeah, it's, we're in quarter, quarter, half there. And here too, probably. Get to uh, one more. There's another tray. Here we go. Yeah, here's a sky look. So we have now rolled our safety down pretty much pre snap. So we've got deep third here. We've got middle of field there. That is our field safety. Again, we want to collision this guy. Okay, we can pass off inside. If he tries to release outside, that's fine. We'll just wall him. And then we've got deep third over here. <clears throat> so that you guys get kind of get the idea. So we got cloud three, sky three, buzz three, right? And then we've got that combo look. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, like I said, man, I'm I'm kind of all over the place right now and 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 busy with. Uh, in fact, I got about 10, 10 text messages just in that amount of time. And it's not even eight o'clock. <laughs> but um, I want to uh, I want to talk ball any chance I get, guys. You can reach out to me on Twitter. Um, Coach underscore Harvey 18 is my Twitter handle. And um, shoot, you follow me and you prove you're a coach. I'll follow you back. We'll connect, talk a little ball. So that's our cover three concepts. Coach Spencer, appreciate you, man. Appreciate your, you know, this opportunity. And hopefully it helps somebody out this morning.